Definitely in the college football platform. Were you a little bit nervous? Um, actually, I mean, me and myself, I feel like we were at a pretty good spot. I mean, when you think about our games, there's a you know, competition we played. I thought that uh, for the whole season, um, I thought that, that said a lot for us. Uh, so I wasn't really nervous. Uh, just excited to win. Take me through, like, who were you watching the selection show with? Did you guys kind of erupt? Was it just kind of like that? Ah, we knew it anyway. Just what? Who were you watching it with, and what was the, you know, what was the reaction? I was uh, at the house by myself. I lived by myself, and uh, watching on my couch, eating some chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't uh, one of these things when I saw it. Um, you know, obviously uh, excited. I was telling uh, Adam or you got that uh, I'm actually a healthy body. As you see, I'm not on a scooter or anything. Uh, so uh, I think it's a blessing um, just to be healthy throughout a long season uh, and just to be able to play. Uh, and it's a crazy thing for that. Second row, Tino. JT, um, what's your relationship with Deshaun Watson? I assume you guys are good friends. And did you guys talk uh, after you guys saw that uh, you, know, you guys were selected to play in the Fiesta Bowl? Yeah, he's a uh, one of good friends of mine. They're just you know, quarterbacks, you know, we've been talking with uh, it's a tight circle uh, of this. Uh, but uh, nah, when I seen it, I texted him and I said, well, I see you in Arizona, brother. He was like, all right, let's get it. So um, it's one of the things that uh, it's going to be exciting. You know, we're both competitors <coughs> and love our teams and we're going to fight to the uh, end to, in order to get that victory. So, so. Second row left, Ryan. Just when you look at the last few games y'all have played indoors, like the Fiesta Bowl will be the offense has, you know, scored like 40 points every time. You know, the Fiesta Bowl last year, the two playoff games, the Big Ten Championship against Wisconsin. Uh, is that a function of the offense playing better indoors or it being easier, or is it just something else? No, I think, um, I'm never about that. Um, I think it's one of the things is preparation. I think uh, coaches do a great job having us prepared when we play. Uh, big games, and I think in that case, it just so happens that the big games were good. So it's more about preparation. Uh, never had just been locked in on the assignments and going out there and going well. Far left in the back, up, Brad. Going back to Glendale, you had success there last year, and it's also a place where you know you kind of already have been there, done that, and, and you know <coughs> where you need to be at a certain time, and already on the schedule. Is there an advantage to that? Why? Why not? Um, I think that plays a part of it. I think uh, if anything, just coaches in order to make sure that uh, as a team go on one court, I think that has something uh, to do with it. And then when you think about it, uh, I mean, our team's so young, so uh, someone's got, I mean, a lot of them as far as like the freshman in 2015, but you know, we talk about the 2016 guys that are playing a lot of football for us. They weren't there, so I think um, with that, I think with the older guys, we've been, we've been there and, uh, in order to make sure everybody's on the same page as far as uh, what we need to do in order to play our plays. Front row, Bill. You alluded to this. Uh, you know, you're not on the scooter two years ago. You said after I State won it all, it was not bittersweet that you were just happy to be a part of it. But now you are going to be the quarterback in the postseason. What does that mean to you? How excited are you for that opportunity, especially when you know, a lot of questions about the passing game for the next month? Um, yeah. That's the best thing is uh, truly a blessing. Um, it's one of the things I, you know, when I first came here, wrote down my goals and you know, I won that championship. Uh, and we won one, but I didn't get to play in it. Uh, cause, you know, broke my ankle, but um, now that we're in the mix uh, for it all, and, uh, I'm a healthy body. Uh, just thankful uh, for the blessing that God gave me. And then uh, as far as like passing the questions, He hit me with it again. I mean, he was there uh, in the season. Um, I don't have questions in it. Um, I, mean, I think we want to do uh, what we do best in the last one of the ball action pass and uh, score points. So, um, Front row right, Austin. JT, we've asked you uh, a lot this season about the record books and where you, know, you stood amongst some other guys, not just at Ohio State and Big Ten. And you always talk about wins and losses. Does that mean that this month 
to factor into some sort of legacy conversation? Would, would that be in your mind at all, that what, the, what two wins could mean for your place? Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's not, when I think about this, so I think that's going to be something I want to talk about. But uh, right now, um, the main thing is just winning this game against Clemson. I think uh, that's what I'm about because I think at the end of the day, I think that's all that really matters uh, is a year to win football games. Uh, despite, because I feel like there's, you know, players that you know may have put a lot of points, but at the end of the day, the team they don't win. So, uh, but that's what we talk about at the end of the day is uh, how you win or get to you. So. I'm uh, worried about in this game against uh, Clemson and uh, make sure you get everybody on the same page and go out there and play our best. Uh, back row, far right, Kaylee. JT, uh, Coach talked about how he, he's excited to see how great the Big Ten is this year and how far they've come. Um, do you think that with three teams in the top six, do you think that the challenges that you face every week <clears throat> against these teams that that's going to help you, and how much do you think it's going to help you with these next battles that you have? Yeah, so um, I think that's one of the reasons why uh, we're becoming a really good team is because when the going gets rough, uh, we tend to get better. So uh, I mean, you think about playing overtime games uh, it was twice this year, times but. Played some tight ball games, and so with that, um, I think that helps you in comes games like this because you, I mean, oftentimes you, we all know it's really not a blowout game. Everybody's gonna fight to the better end, and uh, you're gonna play well uh, at the end of the game. And so I think that definitely helps us uh, be in that Big Ten to a really best conference this year. Um, and so uh, I think that makes us all the better when it comes to the Far right over here, Andy. JT, uh, you know, being named uh, first team All Big Ten quarterback of the year here in the conference. Um, congratulations, by the way. Appreciate that. Um, you know, is, is that something that I mean, you you feel that you're going to carry on your shoulders to have been bestowed with that honor? Give you maybe a little bit of <coughs> juice here going into your game prep as far as at least taking one Clemson into the Fiesta Bowl. Um, I guess I don't really think of it like that. Um, I think. Uh, my main thing is go out there and just play my best. I think my best is uh, really good and been more good, but we put in a great place to win the game. So, um, with that, I think, um, yeah, I really, don't, I really don't think about that necessarily, but uh, just go out there and make sure I play at my best. And I think when I do that, our offense is going to be playing very well, and then we're also going to be on the top of that game. Final couple of questions. Far left, Doug. JT, you had the best <coughs> seat in the house for the playoff last time around. Just this way of deciding a champion, you get the four best teams and you've had the semifinals with the championship. I know it's a grind for the players. It's hard to get through. But what did you think of it? Like, is it fun? Is it a cool way to decide a champion? What did you think of the playoff? Um, I think it is. Um, I think one thing is it's exciting, I think, uh, week to week for uh, college football fans. I think that's something. But as far as players, um, I think, I don't know, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, when the first records come out, it's kind of like, you know, do they really hold much meaning? Uh, you know, in the first third year or whatever. So, um, you simply just try to focus on each game. You know, I don't think, as a, as a player, you don't try to get wrapped up in college football play like college football fans are able to do uh, just because it takes away from each game and understand that those come out in November, that's when you definitely need to make sure that you win the ball game. So with that, you have to focus in on each game. So as a player, I think, um, I know we definitely, we, we didn't talk about it, but it was, we didn't talk about it. Um, and so with that, um, I think it's exciting for you know, college football and fans great thing comfortable, but as far as a player, I think at times um, you get kind of bogged down because that's all that's being talked about. That's all you see, you know, one across the screen and things like that. So you try to make sure that you stay focused um, and talk about each game. And um, this bowl practice season that's coming up for you guys in these bowl practices, 
how much better can this team get, and how much better do you think this team needs to get to get ready for this playoff? Um, I think you know, there's always uh, one of these. You always uh, find things to get better at. I think uh, there's, there's numerous things we get better at. Um, I think one of the main things that Coach Byron and we talk about is that being nine years strong and make sure that if you're playing that chunk of level in your unit, and that's all you can do, and that's all we need to do in order to win game. Because that's what's going to be needed in order to be Clemson is make sure that we're nine years strong. And um, I think with the time we have, it's 27 days. Um, I think we're going to be uh, at a good place as far as being nine years strong. Our coach is going to do a great job getting us prepared for it. And final question, mm -hmm. front row right here. <coughs> yeah, JT, uh, I know you don't necessarily like this question, but I'm going to ask it again. Where do y'all definitely need to get better? In the passing game, what what needs to get better in that realm of the nine units aspect of things? Um, I think uh, I think watching the games. I think uh, oftentimes um, I would probably say myself uh, just helping the receivers out. I think uh, you know when you get these tight ball games, you have going against great DBs. Um, you know, we're going to be open, but it's going to be not by much. So I think I could do a better job of um, having ball placement and more than to make it easier on them because, I mean, they're getting open, but uh, it's not, you know, saying break away, which is fine. They did their job to get open inside, do a better job giving the ball. Um, and two, um, you know, just helping out the whole line. I think the whole line's been young. We're going to be in a big time at games, uh, you know, Going to pressure us, which is fine. Um, I think you know, being able to help all the line, just sliding in protections, uh, and some blitzes and things like that. I feel like that. And, uh, I think those are probably the main things. Uh, and I think, like I said, we do that, or if I do that, we do that. One thing, you, you, uh, you and Curtis are two of the four finalists for the Silver Football Award, which is the MVP of the Big Ten. Number one, what does that say about you and Curtis? And number two, what kind of honor, I guess, is it even being the, uh, the finalist um, consideration? It's, yeah, it's a tremendous honor. Uh, you know, man, Kurt, um, he's been balling out for us uh, this whole year. Uh, you know, a good part of our offense, what we do. I don't know, it's one of the things that uh, you, know, you just don't really take the time out to think about in the course of the season. You just try to go out games and play the best. Uh, but I think it says a lot of people Big Ten Conference uh, was the best this year to be able to be up for that award. Um, I think it's just a humbling type of thing. Uh, it's really, uh, I guess you know, you know what I'm saying? Put yeah. your goals out uh, before the season, you know, trying to get those things. And then when it comes, uh, or if they do, then uh, you know, we should take it back and break it. Great. JT, thank you very much. Thanks, JT.